Let's, let's be straight here for a second. Cases are rising across the country. Tests are hard to come by in many places, or there's long lines for them. Schools are closing again or having to go virtual, and that's not just because of the weather in some parts of the country, but because of the pandemic. Uh, there is a sense among many that the country has lost control of the virus. Would the White House agree with that? We would not, and here's why. We're in a very different place than we were a year ago, Ed. 200 million people are vaccinated. Those are people who are protected, seriously protected, from illness and death from the virus. Uh, we have also just purchased the largest over-the-counter purchase of tests in history, 500 million tests. That builds on the fact that we have uh, already distributed uh, 50 million tests back in December to rural health centers, to community health centers. The fact that we have 20,000 sites across the country where you can get free tests. The fact that next week people can uh, get reimbursed for their tests. And we are going to continue to build on that. It also, on schools, I would say 97% of schools are open across the country. And the president wants school to be open. That's why months ago, even when people questioned his advocacy for this funding. He advocated for $130 million in the American Rescue Plan and $10 billion to cover testing, even when many people said that was not necessary and was not needed. That has all been distributed to states. If states have not used it, and some have not, and if school districts have not used it, now's the time to use it. So I would note that we have taken steps to prepare for any contingency, any moment, and we're working to implement and build on that from here. He mentioned, you just mentioned, outbreaks here at the White House. Is it a large number? Is it anyone? I know there's a policy that you're only really going to let us know if it's the top four individuals in the government or their spouses. But has there been a wide outbreak here in the West Wing or across the White House campus? Well, our, our policy is that, which I think is important for the public to know, because it is in the public interest to know, and of course your interest. If there is anyone who has a close contact, as deemed by the White House Medical Unit, with the President, the Vice President, the First Lady, or the Second Gentleman, we will make that information available, as we have done, as those instances have occurred. And I was only conveying there are breakthrough cases here. There's 2,000 people who work on the White House complex, right? Uh, the 99% of them are vaccinated, and there will be breakthrough cases here. Thanks to the vaccination, those cases have been mild. Uh, but uh, again, there are, there are rising case numbers across the country, and we expect to be in line with that. Since the president didn't take questions from us, we were able to clarify. He, he said to the, un, to the vaccinated and boosted, quote, you can still get COVID, but it's very unlikely you'll be seriously ill, roughly what he said. Have we reached a point in the pandemic now where he's basically saying to Americans, accept the fact you may get the virus, but if you're vaccinated, it won't be that bad? What he's saying to Americans is, uh, we know there are going to be breakthrough cases. Uh, we've had them at the White House. Uh, we, are, we are seeing them across the country and certainly elevated race, rates of cases in certain communities across the country, including in Washington, D.C. But the step that's most important that people can take to prevent uh, reduce the, the potential for hospitalization and death is to get vaccinated, get boosted. Uh, he's not telling anyone to accept anything. He's just conveying to people what they can do to protect themselves. Uh, he's also said very clearly, and I think he's illustrated that and this and what he said publicly, as have our doctors, that we're going to be direct and straightforward with the American people. We know cases are going up. Uh, but we also know that if people are uh, boosted, it is going to significantly reduce their potential to be hospitalized and certainly prevent uh, to, to die. Uh, and that is what we're conveying to the public.